Hello guys, in this video I'm going to do the review of the Flamio OS for Eureka. So this ROM is based on Lollipop and made by a developer called Anabathina. It is based on Flammy 5 by a company called Mizu. So this is the notification area, you can turn on the network speed and tinted status bar. Uh, so they have no uh, like app drawer like all the Chinese ROMs. I don't know if any had app drawer. And these are the folders. This is uh, you can search for apps directly from here. This is the notification area. This is the brightness slider. This is the settings panel. And uh, notification settings. sound uh, option uh, the sound is really good in this room and there's also a personalized uh, keyboard you can see here it's really good uh, good looking so i have to sign into my flammy account to get the theme service working and the battery backup is really good in this room surprisingly good for the 2500 mh battery of Eureka. it works really great you can see the battery drop is uh, less and it's good for the average it's good. these are security options i got the basic settings so there is also an app lock installed and yeah, it's built in and there is also a lock screen password it's very interesting you can just slide down for 1580 it's really easy to unlock just slide down and it quickly unlocks it's pretty good here's the dialer it looks really good uh, the Volti call doesn't work, uh, but the Volti message works. But that's a surprise. But the call doesn't work. Uh, this is the uh, the music player. Uh, it doesn't work on the first boot. But you have to flash a separate a zip file to get it working. And the bug is the main bug present is the Play Store. Uh, the Play Store it works. It shows you all the apps and stuff, but it it downloads also, but it doesn't install. So you if you're downloading a 10 MB file, it will download the 10 MB app, but it won't install it. So that's a problem. And you can use alternatives for Play Store, like websites, Epic Mirror, UpToDown.com, AC Market, etc., to actually download uh, apps for Android. So that's a border. Uh, can be bothersome for some people. Uh, and that's only the main bug I have felt. And Geo and the Volti also is a bug. It's a recent UI. It looks really cool. So they make Flyme more like a iOS style, and it's very fluid and fast. And the sound quality is also good. And the ROM is pretty rooted. And Geo works pretty fine. And the net is speed and everything works good. So you can work use it as a daily driver, but uh, without Play Store, it would be hard to like you update all your apps through Play Store and stuff. So it, it it would get hard to do so. But and the main thing you have to be keep in mind is that uh, if you want to use this ROM, you have to increase your partition because without uh, increasing the partition of your phone, you can't use this ROM. So you have to and. Um, to do that you have to use uh, a PC and Anapathina 2 for partition increaser it's really simple you don't have to do anything you just have all your drivers installed you just have to press enter and you will do it on your own the partition will be increased uh, but it does wipe your internal memory and stuff it's a fairly uh, simple process uh, I will provide the link to that uh, page so you can follow the steps uh, and it's very simple 
but uh, you have to follow the steps very carefully i'll give the links in the description uh, and all the bugs that i've showed you other than that it's really easy and uh, easy ui very smooth that there is a that you can see a little quick ball type of button you can use it uh, to double tap or slide across multiple apps so overall I think that this rom is really good and yeah all the links will be in the description i hope you like my video and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel thank you for watching